Good afternoon floss children. It's Lisa here from the Shady Tree Stitches and I'm here to present you with my first ever Mania Roundup. 2019 was the first year I participated in Stitch Mania and I went all out doing a different project every day in May and I'm really pleased to say that I managed to achieve that goal. I, I thoroughly enjoyed starting some new products. I've been wanting to do that for months since I refound my stitchy bug. Having 31 pieces on the go is a little bit daunting and I really found that I wanted to spend a bit more time on some. A lot of the projects I picked were shorter ones that I um, felt I could finish if I had another day or so to work on them. So I'm really looking forward to now heading back into a sense of normality and continuing to work on all these wonderful whips. I did have some finishes along the way um, and so I've got lots and lots of progress to show you. So I think what I will do is just get started um, and yeah, I'm just looking for my book. Of course, I've lost my book. So for those who are interested, my stitchy organization for Mania involved just a good old notepad and in it I had a different page for each project and I wrote down what the project was, when I started it, and how many stitches I did on it. I was trying a new filming location. And thank you to the person who pointed out that I stupidly filmed this way with my phone during Mania instead of this way. So I hope you enjoy having the large facial version of me again. All right, so to start Mania, I started by working on my salves. And the first one that I worked on was this one my fairy tale sal from the cross stitcher magazine and I worked on alice in wonderland there in the middle and i had a finish within the day which was awesome so even though it's a sal i counted that as a finish because i got the whole thing done so now i'm ready to move on to the next one so my second sal is one of everyone's favorites the painted orphans from ships manor and so we had these Rio de Janeiro inspired houses. So I got to finish with that too, that little block. I mean, the piece is far finished. I still got to do more on the border, but um, that's progressing nicely for that sal. Um, yeah, new, new house must be out, I'll have to have a look. So um, yeah, really excited again to have a, a section finish for that sal. My third sal seems to be a bit of a trend here. It's also from um, Ships Manor and it's called the Love Story Sal. And I've done the first three sections and I had a complete finish on that third section. You can see the lovely happy couple getting married, moving into the house. So that one was a complete finish too and I'm really looking forward to doing some more on that one. I am enjoying the, the primitiveness of the, the design. Okay, my fourth sal. Now this one's an ongoing project. I only started this one not long ago. And this is Clouds Factories. We are humans after all. Now I am way behind in this, but I just um, started up in the corner, got across to here, and I've just finished almost all of this block here. So this one is actually going to be a, an ongoing project for me. I've joined a new group during May called Stitches Journal and Daily 30. I like the idea of doing 30 minutes a day on something. Um, so I've joined that group and this is actually my 30 minute a day piece. I'm going to try and stitch on that for 30 minutes every day, try and catch up where I'm up to because I'm way, way, way behind um, until it's finished and then I'll switch to something else. Now, a couple of people have commented about that group. It's on Facebook. But um, Cheryl McKinney from Tranquil Stitches, who runs it, wanted to keep it um, small. So she's only let 200 people into that group at the moment. So you can't find it because it is a closed group. Um, but if you're really keen, then send her a message. Um, and when she gets some spots open up, I'm sure she'll let some more people in. So this one, you're gonna see a lot of progress, daily 30. So down the bottom there, I've done most of that, daily 30 and a little bit of magical stitches. So yeah, really excited um, to be doing that. And I'm um, doing that one with, as a sal with one of my friends, Sarah, who 
who is Sarah Stitches, who's just had a baby. Yay, very exciting. So she's probably not gonna get much stitching done. She hasn't made any YouTubes for a while, um, but she says she'll get back into it one day. So those were my sales. So they were four of my days. And just in case you want the facts and figures, um, the fairy tale sale was 532 stitches, which made a finish. The painted orphan sale, I did 1,046, which made a finish. And the love story sale, I did almost 1,500 stitches. Okay, the rest of them are just gonna be in whatever order I pull them out at. Okay, during the month, I embarked on a new journey. And I embarked on another sale that we're running through the um, virtual stitches group, which I'm involved with, my first ever chatelaine. So we're running a chatelaine sale and I have started the Chinese garden mandala. My first ever chatelaine, huge project, very, very exciting. And I worked on this for, I think a whole Saturday. And this is as much as I got done. But you can start to see the center part. So it's going to be absolutely stunning. I really like this sort of cloudy material I'm doing it on. So we have got my, my Chatelaine. So that one is gonna be an ongoing project. Also part of a sale. Now, also, Another big project I started is this one, which really doesn't look like anything. Yeah, I made a lot of project on, um, progress on it just in one day. Oh, and uh, sorry, I'm forgetting my Chinese garden mandala I did 398 stitches on. This one was called the 12 Days of Christmas, and that one was 513 stitches worth. And it's going to look like this. So that middle block there is where I started. Huge project, ongoing, but I really like this one. So that's gonna be another ongoing huge project for me to work on, my 12 days of Christmas. Okay, next up we have got the um, we have a finish. It's so exciting to get a finish in Mania. All right, I stitched the pattern, check what it is, from the threads that bind us, gather the roses of life today. This pattern is now completed. It was a rack, a gift, stitchy kindness for me from my friend Louise. Um, I'm thinking about stitching it again, maybe for my mum, but um, I will have that pattern ready to give away in the not too distant future. I used all the called for colours and it took me just over 900 stitches and it is a finish. So it is a total mania finish. Woo! Very excited about that. Total mania finish. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but they were the call for colors. They're a little more somber than I like. So I might actually stitch that again, as I said, in some brighter colors. Give this one to my mum and, and keep the somber colors for me. So that's what I'm doing. So that one is exciting to have an actual whole finish during Mania. All right, next up, again, an ongoing project. Prairie Schoolers Holiday Homestead. And as you can see, there's 12 different designs in here. And I was stitching the birdhouse there. That lovely, cute little birdhouse there. Been using this for a lot of different homework, particularly to do with the color red. It's funny, because in that picture, they look red. And yet on the pattern, the, the, the called for um, is actually a brown. But you can see there where I got up to pretty much got the, the birdhouse outlined. And that one, I've done, a, I did 241 stitches on the first day, but then I also did another 217 stitches um, on a later day to get that much progress done during Mania. 
I found I, I was able to squeeze a bit of revisiting time into a couple of them, which is really good because I didn't like leaving them half done. Okay. Um, the rest of my main is in two bags. One bag is stuff that I'm going to keep working on instantly because it's all earmarked for homework, either for the School of Magical Stitches um, or for 30 minutes a day group. So, this one here, Shepherd's Bush, Wandering Shepherd. So with this one, I'm actually stitching on a piece of linen, which is, um, came, I think came with it. And I've got a little bit of work done on that. This was one of my later ones in Mania. And my Wandering Shepherd, oh, it's so late, it's actually the one from the other day. So I actually can't tell you how many stitches I did on that, but it's got lots of specialties. It was somewhere around three or 400 in there. Um, I'd have to look that up on my phone, but I can't look that up because I'm talking to you on it. So the Wandering Shepherd is in the continue to work on project pile. I will be getting some more of that done. Next one in my continuing to work on project pile is from Brooks Books. Let's look at a picture. My Spirit of Snow Angel. I have a whole lot of these to do. They call for a lot of different colours, which is a little disconcerting, but I'm enjoying doing it. And there's an awful lot of blended threads. So my Spirit of Snow Angel, I actually worked on that little polar bear. He looks like a dog at the moment, but that polar bear using Krynic and white. And with my Snow Angel, I did 230 stitches to do that little bear. He's cute, isn't he? There's another one on this side too, where Minnie is. So I'm going to keep working on that. Um, that's just a project that's going to keep going. It's already earmarked for a few homeworks. Okay, this one. Now this is four different projects. This is the Lizzie Cakes Smalls. And I've already had a friend ask me for these patterns. <coughs> so I've got them earmarked for her. It's really nice. I love being able to share, share the kindness. There was fall, there was winter, summer. And just in case you need me to spell it out. So spring, summer and autumn. And winter. Now I just started on one project of each and did it on different parts of the fabric. So we have got our Halloween autumn one started there. I had one I had to do something for homework to do with bees. So I'm going to guess that's spring. And then the other two be on this other bit of fabric. Oh, not sure. We actually have another completion. That one there is complete. That must be spring. That little bunny is done. So I'm going to turn him into a pillow. And we have the startings of winter. I don't know if you can see him, yes. So I'm really enjoying doing them. So I want to see how many I can fit onto this fabric before I actually finally finish them. So there's four projects for each and I'm planning to do all four. Um, really been enjoying them. Lizzie Kate's are quite easy and quick to stitch, which is great to have another finish. Okay, another series. The Farmhouse Christmas Grandpa's Pickup by Little House Needlecrafts. I'm stitching these on this green fabric. So there we have first one underway. Farmhouse Christmas was um, it was a long time ago. Oh, there it is. Two hundred and eighteen stitches. Is what I did on that one. Um, and I forgot to say with the smalls, my um, I did three hundred and ten on the summer to get it finished. Oh no, spring was finished. 444 was spring was finished. 
and then the autumn and winter came later 167 on winter and 133 in autumn i really have a, a hectic life i am a high school teacher and um, life is very busy at the moment with lots of school events um, plus as i said being a cub scout leader keeps me busy plus I take the kids to band one night a week so i don't always get a lot of stitching time I worked on the Cricut Collection Cottage Welcome and the Cricut Collection Cottage Welcome I was able to do um, a couple of different events for 501 stitches for this one which is really um, was really good enabled me to get here it is the entire C isn't that pretty? The entire sea done with little flowers. So the start of my welcome. We're building a new house and it's actually in council for approval at the moment. So my goal is to get that one finished before we move into the house. Okay, we have got Mill Hill Kit Herb Garden. The Herb Garden I did 253 stitches on which was that much. Again, for a homework task, 253 stitches. Um, got it underway. Quite enjoying doing them. I'm not minding the, the um, perforated paper as much as I thought I would. Hands to Work Sampler by Victoria Sampler. This one really, I enjoyed doing, but I don't actually know how much I've done because I've been using a new app on my phone for counting and accidentally dropped it and then I didn't realize it was on negative so I kept tapping it for the count and I went from however many I'd done to 40 and I went oh that's odd so I've done a potato bed and pumpkins and some onions all these beautiful specialty stitches. Really, really cute. So I'm looking forward to doing some more on that one. I do enjoy the specialty stitches interspersed with the cross stitches. Um, yeah, so that one's going to be part of my continuation pile for the moment. And then we have got another Mill Hill kit. And this one was used for lots of homework, I know. The barnyard morning. I had something that laid eggs. I had to do brown and I had to do yellow. So you can see there all those brown stitches around the border and all those yellows, including the beads, up in the sun. So that one's well underway and in the continuation pile. Okay, and then. Last one in the continuation pile for the moment is Juniper Designs Moggies. I'm so close to finishing this one. This one's in the continuation pile because it's so close to being finished. Look at that. The house is done. I've just got to do a little bit of work in the garden. I don't like gardening. Here we go. So that will continue my series with that. I'm working on a sal with my friends, um, Louise and Sue working on this series. So I need to pull my finger out because they've both finished that one and I haven't. So that's my little bag. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you these bags. I don't have fancy floss bags. Um, they're very, very expensive down here in Australia. Love to have a fancy project bag for everything, but I don't. But these little bags came from Miller's clothing shop. They've got a zip top and they're just the right size to hold a few kits, $5. So I've got a few of them. I'm gonna go and buy some more, I think, next time I go to Mills. So we've got that one. And then the other bag is the rest of the the rest of the stash that it might come out depending on homework, but it's not in the urgent high priority, although I can see um, a few that are going to be switching places very soon based on the homework that's come out. So Blackbird Designs Swan Lake. Started this one again a really nice easy stitch so I have got 
that much done including a bit of a swan down here and that one was 617 stitches so I got quite a lot done on that one and it doesn't stay on my lap quite as well it's just one of those spot like shopping bags but a really big holds a lot of projects in it next one is a Cricut collection again summer really like these leather ones lots of people do so this one again I am stitching on a 32 count seems to be my my preference um, and I this will actually will be coming out because it's got a sunflower so pastel green 32 count even weave um, okay, that's where I got to for that one And that was 324 stitches done for that one in Mania. Next up we have got, oh yes, another little rack for my friend Louise. Mary had a little lamb. Again, the colours. To me that little house looks like it should be red. But it's actually not a red at all. No, it still looks really red. So I had to substitute my colours because the colour that was called for was a brown and I didn't want brown again I was doing something that required red and I did laugh when I started this one 300 ish stitches on that just looks like one of my juniper designs but um yeah that'll be fun to get back into and finish shouldn't take too long once I spend a little bit of time on it what's next what do we got next oh yes Silver Creek Samplers Singer Song Series Do Re Mi. So again, I'm planning to stitch this totally in a in a row, um, and it is 150 stitches. Did not get a lot done on this one. Uh, trying to pick which day. This is on a very small count. Yeah, there we go. Is that it? <laughs> Huge piece of fabric. Here we are, that's all I've done. So, it is underway. It's going to be great when it's all together. So, a huge piece of fabric there, but only 150 stitches on it for Mania. Then we have got, oh, this one I know is coming out again soon for the new homework I've got. Another black work designs, Pumpkin Farm. And Pumpkin Farm was 427 stitches. 427 stitches on this one. It's not behaving, his, his magnet stuck, that's why. 427 stitches got me that bit of the house. So he's quite well done, well underway. And um, I look forward to doing some more of him. It's none of my projects I didn't enjoy. Um, just more to do with my days and how much other work I had to do. Unfortunately, I still have a life which involves full-time work, looking after two high-needs children um, and other, other activities for them. Still got to do all the mummy jobs. All right, winter into spring. Buy the drawn thread sampler company and this one I found a really really easy um, easy stitch 519 stitches believe it or not in there 519 stitches so I made a big dent on it so small so dainty anyway 519 stitches on that one and um, we'll look forward to getting that one knocked over fairly, fairly quickly. Just trying to zip everything up as I go. So I don't have to go through them later. Try and save some time for stitching. All right, what have we got here? We have got, oh yes, Country Cottage Kids Garden Girl. Garden Girl, I, was able, I know I use this for some homework. 
So my garden girl, I actually did 1,107 stitches on her. 1,107 stitches, which looks like this. There we go. How beautiful. I had to change fabric, so this piece of fabric's a lot bigger than it needs to be. But the one I had before was going to be too small. So, well, well, well underway with that. And interestingly enough, it uses a variegated thread. And I'm actually going to use this variegation for the letters, which is a DMC. Apparently you don't get them everywhere, which is amazes me because we don't really get anything special here in Australia. 4515, so if you're interested in a bluey brown variegated thread, there's a good one. I'm gonna do the letters in that. Okay, a few more to go. Told you there's 31 in total. Oh yes, we have got, can't show you really the picture of this, but this one was from um, Gingerbread, Gingerbread Town from Frosted Pumpkin. Gingerbread Christmas. 2,034 stitches done on this one. This one was done for quite a few things. 2,034 stitches got us to gingerbread houses, basically brownified. So there's one more house to do, and then all the other bits. So 2,034 stitches done on that one. Oops, just about to lose that needle. Gingerbread Christmas by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Loving it. Okay, we've got, oh yes, gorgeous, Where My Heart Blooms by Blackbird Designs. I have this is another beautiful stitchy gift. And I am doing this one on a beautiful piece of linen that also came with a stitchy gift. And a cute needle minder that I got given by Belinda Aussie Stitcher. And my random gift was from Kathy in America. Specialty Stitchers. So that one is... 271 stitches at the moment on that one. So, um... Looking forward to doing more on that. Really enjoying the primitive style there. I think we're up to the last one. Unless I miss some. It's quite possible. But in my bag at the moment, we have got the Drawn Thread Alphabet Sampler. I know I didn't do much on this one. This was on a really bad day. Well, I didn't do as little as I thought. I've actually only done 200 and 22 stitches on the alphabet sampler. There we are. So we're up to. So underway with the alphabet sampler. 222 stitches. So that basically rounds up my mania. Now, I probably should have been good and added up exactly how many threads that was. Um, if I do it very, very roughly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, about 16,000 stitches, give or take. That was really rough, just like looking at the, the hundreds and doing it. So that's pretty impressive for my first ever mania. I definitely will be participating in mania again, um, like I do other things later in the year, but I will um, possibly reassess it. I'm thinking I've got enough whips now to maybe look at doing next year's mania, blimey cat style. Um, where you work on a whip if you haven't finished it. 
but I'll see how many I can get done between now and then. So I'd really like to thank you all for watching my, my Stitch Mania journey. Um, and I would um, really encourage you to just do whatever you enjoy doing with your stitching. And if you're ever bored and you want to join someone to stitch with, then look up Virtual Stitches on Facebook and come and stitch with us because we like to chat to different people while we stitch. So happy stitching and I will catch you back on my regular videos. Bye.